Hi there, we're here at uh, Bullard's Beach State Park uh, in lovely Bandon, Oregon, which is on the southern Oregon coast. Uh, Bandon's one of our favorite towns um, on the Oregon coast. It's a really nice mix of nature and a cute little town, uh, good food, um, Tony's Crab Shack. Face um, Rock Creamery. Oh yeah, Face Rock Creamery is wonderful. Great farmer's market. Awesome farmer's market and the state park. Yeah, Bullets Beach, this is where we like to stay. It's our favorite state park in the area. Um, it's right next to Bannon, right easy off 101. Um, and it's got lots of great hiking trails. It's got two beaches. It's got a lighthouse. A lighthouse Co uh, it's, uh, called Coquille River Lighthouse. Which we have volunteered at, so we do love this area. Um, the one thing that Bullets Beach tends to get dinged on a little bit is the mosquitoes. It yeah. can get bad in the high season. <laughs> uh, it's right next to Bannon Marsh. And uh, every now and then you will see reviews that talk about the mosquitoes. Uh, but if it's breezy like today, um, or if it's outside the mosquito hatching season, it's a, it's a very <coughs> nice state park. And yeah, it's see, worth coming. Yeah, you'll see when we go around the sites and uh, show you some of the area. It really is beautiful. So um, let's go. Let's take a go. Look. Yeah, let's go check it out. Here's the entrance booth. Um, it's pretty easy to get in here. You just have to watch the turn as you come in right here at this curve. There's a little tight turn there, especially for a big rig. And if there's a car there, you'll need to probably wait. And there's the road that comes in from 101. Come on in, take a right, and come on into the booth. All right, now we'll go to Nina, and she'll give you a little more detail on how to get in here. All right, so we're standing by the entrance booth. Uh, when you come in, uh, this is where you do all your registration. Uh, it's off season right now, so the entrance booth isn't open, but during the season, it'll be open and there'll be somebody to greet you. Um, and basically, the prices here are $28 for a full hookup site, $26 for electrical. Um, there's an extra vehicle charge, but you don't get charged that if you come in with your tow vehicle. Um, uh, let's go in and have a look at the map. Here's the map. There's a total of 185 sites here, and they're a mix of either full hookup, which are the darker colored sites, or electric only, which are the lighter colored sites. Uh, the electric do have water as well, and it seems to be a mix of 50 and 30 amp. I, I think they might be upgrading the campground, but anyway, uh, seems to be a mix. And there's a total of three different loops here. There's the A loop over here, uh, the B loop in the middle, and the C loop on this side. Uh, we tend to stay in either the A loop or the C loop. Uh, we find C loop is probably the sunniest, especially around this corner here. Uh, B loop is uh, maybe a little darker, but it does have a lot of privacy. Uh, we do find it seems to have more mosquitoes, but that may just be something that we think. Um, and then a loop over here, we tend to like to stay on this side. That's, uh, there you go. So we're uh, walking around a loop here. Uh, this is Paul's Van and A8. And uh, I'll pan around to our very nice site, which is A10. You can see there's nice big sitting areas. Uh, a loop, uh, at least on this side, tends to be pretty sunny. Uh, towards the back of a loop, it gets uh, a lot darker and there are a little few more mosquitoes there. Um, but overall, it's nice, pretty decent separation here too. Here we are in B Loop. Here's an example of a site here, B50. Uh, it's a full hookup site, 50 amps, water and sewer. Um, this loop is uh, treed. Um, it does have some mosquitoes, and maybe a little tight. Um, but it's a nice loop. Uh, behind, on the end of the loop here, there's a trail that goes down to the beach. We tend to like to stay in either A or C. But this is a a good loop as well. I'll just pan around here quickly. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, we just we don't really send, tend to stay in this loop. Just like all Oregon State Parks, the inside sites tend to be at right angles and are probably best for smaller rigs. The sites on the outside of the loop tend to have a little angle to them and are best for big rigs. So uh, when you book here, uh, I would look for an outside site if you have a big rig like us. Here we are in uh, loop C, the last of the loops in the campground. I'm standing here at C3. Again, nice uh, big site. Um, most of loop C is 50 amps, and it's a mix of full hookup sites and electric only sites. And it contains a mix of also the shady sites, but also the sunniest sites in the campground, especially the last of the, of the C loop. Um, on the, on the 
Yeah, and I'll pan around to that so you can see. Uh, this is kind of the end of Sea Loop over here. I would say this is kind of probably one of the more open areas of the campground. Um, but then on the other hand, you do get a little less privacy. And I'll pan around here too. That's the exit to the dump station over there. Um, and now we're actually panning around to the entrance to Sea Loop. Sea Loop. And you can see all the RVs. Yep, it's a nice loop. All right, here we are at the dump station. Uh, it's just down the street from the entrance, go straight through the entrance station. And uh, it's in between B Loop, which is right behind me, and C Loop, which is straight ahead. So it's you hang it right, right here. Huge pull in, uh, easy turn in, easy to get out. Um, that's pretty much about it. Okay, we're standing here by the facilities, uh, typical Oregon State Park facilities. There's actually one of these buildings in each loop. Uh, toilets on one side, showers on the other. The showers are free, uh, but they are the push button type. Um, it's decent water pressure, decent temperature. The facilities are good. So we're just uh, walking on the trail here down to the beach. It's a nice little 1.5 mile trail. Is it 1.5 miles or one mile pool? 1.5 mile trail down to the beach along this uh, little paved area and uh, when we get to the beach you'll see it's gorgeous down there. There's a lighthouse too. So we're standing at the lighthouse. Um, Another one. Yeah. Uh, this one's from 1896 and she's a river lighthouse. Uh, we actually we volunteered here for two years in a row. This is the Kokio River Lighthouse. And she's not uh, working anymore, but uh, and she's a little old, but uh, she's still a real pretty lighthouse, and it's uh, one of those sights to see when you come here. And here's the entry to Kokio, right to the ocean over there. All right, we made it to the beach, and uh, as you can see, it's a windy day, which is not unusual. Uh, but it's gorgeous. There's no one here. There's miles and miles of open beach. Yeah, come to Bullards. It's great. And uh, if you want to know more, head to Winning